Hello Internet, my name is Hazel from Hazelnutty Games and this is a closer look at the barbershop customization options for the new female night elf model in the Warlords of Draenor beta. Alright, let's see what we've got here. So let's start with the hairstyles. We have the loose tail. Nice little detail in the hairband there. Short. A little longer than it used to be, I have to say. We've got high tail. A little bit more curved around the front of the head there. We've got the braided tails coming from the back around to the front. Much skinnier tails than they used to be. The short tail, again a little longer in the front than it used to sit. Nice little short high ponytail in the back. The braided tail, nice long braid around the shoulder. It's nice that the gathered hair around the head no longer makes her look bald. The hairband. Nice little detail in the hairband there. Looks like a big opal set in the top. Some nicely textured bangs, and then it falls down the back. This is the soaked look. This is the tomboy. Very cute, especially with the sweeping part along the side. We've got Gathered, a dwarven hairstyle. It's long through the front, gathers around to the back with a nice little braid poking out. This is Looped, another hairstyle of dwarvish origin. pair of little looped braids in the back. It looks like we've got hair sticking out underneath them. It's unknown if these hairstyles are finished or not. Things could still change between now and launch, so keep that in mind. The Sassy Buns, one of the Cataclysm hairstyles, now have been adjusted to look a little bit more like Sassy Pigtails. This is the Sassy Tails, a very popular hairstyle. Big, fluffy pigtails. And long. One of my favorite retextured hairstyles from Classic. Beautiful, long, flowing hair down her back. Almost low enough to reach her booty. Really shows off whatever hair color you happen to have chosen there. So, let's take a look at the colors. This is one of the darker greens, one of my favorites for a druid. You get a lighter bluish green. It's not quite porta potty color, but it's getting there. Silver, of course. Turns quite blue towards the end. Not sure if it used to do that or not. And again in front, she's got silver hair, but bluish towards the end on the front bits. This is one of the lighter pure blues. The classic navy blue hair. This one becomes a little bit purple towards the end unless I'm seeing things. And proper purple. They all appear to get a little bit darker right towards the end of the hair. I wonder if that applies to different hairstyles as well. It looks like it does to some extent. It's easiest to see on that silver. Indeed, she does have darker hair towards the tips of her hair. Interesting. And then we have a lighter green. Again, darkening towards the tip. And we are back to our deep green. Alright, lovely. Let's take a look at some of the markings. These will change in color with the hair colors. We'll take a look at how the colors change next. First, we have the bear. Used to be bear claw print type prints across the face. They look a little bit more like wings under her eyes now, don't you think? 
There are the blades. The crane. Looks much cranier than before. This is one of my favorite ones in the new style. Didn't like it too much before, but I think it looks lovely now. This is leaf. Looks much leafier than it used to. Looks almost like she's uh, getting political with us. We have, of course, claws. Not too much different there. Wings. The serpent, single slash down her face, and owl. There's a little bit more room around her eyes than it used to. Shadow. And then of course you can have it clear if you're not into any of those. So let's take a look at how the color changes. It will generally be in theme with your hair color, although it will not always match it exactly. Get a nice purple with the silver. That's really nice. The dark red to go with the blue. And... Those are the barbershop options for the new female night elf. Most of them, I have to say, look pretty good. Hopefully, they still make a couple of adjustments as we head towards launch. Specifically, fix this unibrow. This does not look normal. It should not be there. We don't want it. Please. <laughs> Hopefully, that will get updated, although worse things have happened. You never know. In any case, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. And have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!